the honor of Ife, or Ife, Obade Ogun Wusi and other prominent monarchs in the southeast have waded into the crisis between Governor of Ekiti State, Dr. Kaede Fayemi, and 11 aggrieved uh, most prominent monarchs in the state. Oba Ogun Wusi, who is the permanent chairman of the Council of Obas in Oshun State, said no efforts would be spared to ensure that the warring parties sheath their swords to strengthen the virtues of togetherness of Ekiti and the entire Yoruba nation. Oni, who spoke through the Chief Press Secretary Moses Olaferi, said a peace parley has been scheduled for Monday to meet with both Fayemi and the aggrieved monarchs with a view to finding a lasting solution. And with me now in the phone uh, is um, the Chairman of IPAC, Honorable Fred Iyani Wura. Good morning, Honorable. Good morning. And good to have you this morning. Now, on the heels of the dethronement of Sanusi, uh, could it be that governors may want to flex their muscles as concerns traditional rulers? What do you think? Oh, well, let me say that um, this is about uh, tradition and uh, it's all about regional differences. What we think is happening at the northern side. We should not see it as something that ought to have happened in this western side. Because here in the western region, we don't, we don't talk with our culture and tradition. Mm -hmm. And uh, this tool of hobbership is more of tradition, unlike that of the northern side. Mm -hmm. So because it happened there in the northern side, particularly affected the mayor of Kano, the deposed Emir of Kano. Mm -hmm. We should not use that to generalize it, that it can happen anywhere else again in the country. All right. Uh, the term is subordination is a broad one, as you agree, and yet it's been used as an umbrella term to justify holding the traditional rulers in check. Now, what is the precedence to governors require, requiring uh, the traditional rulers to be subordinate to them? Uh, like, like I said, this is about your own domain, your area. Mm -hmm. First of all, as a governor, you need to understand what entails to be a traditional ruler right in your home state. Mm -hmm. You cannot because a certain governor at a northern side of the country did this to his own traditional ruler there. You that from the southwest, or Southeast, can I just wake up as a governor because the governor of Kano State did this and you will now believe that you can as well do the same thing. It can boomerang just because it, 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 it differs. This tool, this tool is more, that particularly here in Southwest, is more of culture and tradition. Mm -hmm. Just to be clear, we are not implying that um, this is happening because it, we saw uh, some, something that looks like that in the north. We're not, we're not making that, that's not what we are implying here. We are rather asking, is, is that setting a precedence for governors to begin to wade into the affairs of traditional rulers? And if that is the case, is there not a place where they could uh, work together, you know, uh, merge, synergize, so to speak, to be able to work for the good of the people, even as a traditional ruler and maybe as a, a democratically elected uh, governor of a state? Well, let me use, let me use our own side there to, to put an answer to the question. You see, the part remains that as a governor, you are wholly statutorily to be there for eight years. That is first four years, and you, can, you have the privilege to return for second term, making it eight years. Mm. But the, the, the kings, that is the hobbers, they are there till death took them away. So right here, in our own side there, the unhobba is remains the owner of the land. So it is imperative for the governor that, that wanted to succeed in office to work hand in hand with these cabbages. Mm -hmm. And this thing has been so easy. Now that we have a traditional council of hobbies, you can easily work with them through that channel mm -hmm. without entertaining any coercion or any coercion. So with, with the managers of the traditional council of hobbies, 
that has given the governors an easy ride to have a free and, and, free and smooth relationship with these robbers at their own respective domain. All right. We, we hear also that, you know, prior to now, that there has been no love lost between the governor of Ekiti uh, State, that's Fayemi, and the Pelu Pelu Obas over the appointment of the Alawe of Ilawe Ekiti, Oba Adebanji Alabi, as the chairman of the State Traditional Council. Would you say uh, the prominent Obas acted rightly by approaching the, Supreme, uh, the, the State High Court, rather, to challenge the appointment? Uh, well, let me let me make it extensively clear. Though it's a case before a competent court of adjudication, but that notwithstanding, the fact remains that the Alawe of Ilawe is an Oba, which qualifies him to be a member of the traditional council. And the Ekiti Ship Tenzin Law, which governs the affairs of traditional rulers, only recognizes three classes, which are first class grade of Oba, second class grade, and third class. And a chairman of the traditional council can only come from the first class grade. The last time we check, the allower of Ilawe falls to the category of first class cake in Ekiti State. And this makes him eminently qualified to be the chairman of the traditional council of Oba in the state. Mm -hmm. On the issue of Pelu Pelu, this I believe is all about history which of course I wouldn't distort. But the truth is that we are no longer operating in an analog world. Mm. The world is advancing day by day. Mm. We should therefore get advanced. We cannot continue to sacrifice the rule of law at the altar of sentiment and emotion. The question is, as a member of traditional council, being a number in the state, and as a first class OBA, does Allah will allow we qualify to be the chairman of traditional council of OBAs? As a trying in the state chief tenancy law which governs traditional affairs? Mm. The answer is yes. And I think that's settled it. All right. Thank you so very much, Honorable Fred, for joining us this morning on Plus TV Africa. Thank you very much.